your Fender or your Ibanez guitar is made. A lot of them were made in Korea by these very workers. They have been with Cord for 20, 30 years. And they're here, they're here at NAM, not as exhibitors, not as retail buyers, not as guest artists, but as themselves. They are workers who are unjustly dismissed because they wanted their basic working rights. But the thing that the workers care about most is what you all care about. They want to go back to their jobs and they want to make guitars. Hi, my name is Hak Jung Hong and I'm here in Anaheim, California with Pang Jong Un, the court union officer from Korea. We are here at Nam Show 2010 because the court and Cortec guitar workers from Korea were mass dismissed in 2007. Their company, Court Guitars, produces guitars for companies such as Fender, Ibanez, Gibson, and many other famous brands. But the guitar workers, even though they're producing these excellent guitars, were being treated as less than human. They couldn't go to the bathroom, they weren't allowed to take their breaks, and they were sexually harassed by their managers. They formed a union to address these degrading conditions, and when they did, they were all fired. And so this union and their members have sent delegations to the music fairs because Court Guitars is not just a Korean company, it's a multinational. It has factories now in China and in Indonesia, and it has chosen these sites to avoid the unions. For the workers who have come to the NAM show, they're here to say we want our jobs back. And they also have been trying to build solidarity with LA-based musicians and, and artists. And we have people like Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine and Wayne Kramer of MC5 and Boots Riley of The Coup have all supported openly and publicly the Court Guitar Workers Campaign. So now I will um, ask Mr. Pang Jong-un, uh, the Court Union Officer, questions about how the struggle is going since 2007. <laughs> 이것은 아니다. 우리는 더 좋은 환경하고 더 안전한 노동 환경에서 일해야 된다. 그거는 물어볼 요구할 때 회사 줄 것처럼 얘기를 해주다가 어떤 돈이 적게 들어가는 부분은 so, when they did make these demands, they the company said we'll give them to you right away, but then they dragged it out and dragged it out. And when at times the company was doing well, they said, oh well tomorrow, you know, you'll have these improvements tomorrow. But then when things were a little bit tougher, they said, there's no way we can, we can provide you with these things. And so eventually they just they just completely failed to deliver any of the things that the workers had demanded. In the Cord and Cortec factories, there are two types of industrial injury victims. There are the ones who are hurt on the job, and then there are the more long-term chronic um, disabled from the job that they call accidental industrial um, industrial accident um, victims. And uh, among the um, industrial accident victims on at court, many of them lost their fingers and lost multiple fingers and or, or lost parts of their limbs and became, you know, part and only had partial use of their hands or their feet. And uh, for those who had the more long-term or chronic that they called accidental injuries. They had bronchitis, lung diseases, had trouble breathing, would collapse or faint on the job, and um, kind of develop the kinds of diseases that were not easily resolved or immediately cured. So, you know, it, for example, between 2004, 2005, there were 30 industrial accidents in which people lost parts of their hands or their limbs. And this did not come out in that year. That fact was only revealed later and the union or the, the the workers said this is not something that we can accept you know 30 accidents in one year in one factory is just too much so they brought it to the attention and the ministry of labor had a special investigation and found that it was indeed extreme to have that much industrial accident in one place and they had to ask what's going on why are workers not getting their basic safety protections 부터 시정 명령 벌금을 맞은 이런 내용입니다 2006년에 벌금을 맞은 내용입니다. So this document here is the um, citation, the fine that was given to Court Guitars because their workplace was so unsafe. It's a special fine and an especially high fine for a workplace in Korea to to have to pay because of so much such a high rate of industrial injury at the workplace. 상제가 상제가 그렇게 많았는데 그 사람들이 뭐 
회사한테 돈 받아? 뭐 무슨 보상 같은 거 받아요? 그 보상은 받지 못합니다. 그러나 근로복지 그 노동부에 So the thing about uh, verifying this workplace injury, injury is that it, it's a very long and, and kind of complicated process. They send investigators, they even like talk to the family and they try to figure out what really happened. So there, there is a way of certifying yourself as a victim of industrial accident, but it's not simple. 환자 환자가 많이 발생했기 때문에 근로복지공단에서 이렇게 조사를 해서 검사랑 so Because there were so many workplace accidents, Korea's National Labor Relations Board and the um, had decided that at the court guitars, the workplace merited a special investigation and actually spent, sent people a special investigation to the workplace to observe what's going on because it was such an unsafe workplace. 여기 있습니다. 예, 여기서 읽어 보면은 이게 보면은 그. The National Labor Relations Board was, at first, like you know, found it very hard to believe that there were so many victims of industrial injury in one place. But when they went, they found all the. You got to check up. 조사하기 때문에 받았어요. 아니면은 근로복지공단에서 내면은 근로복지공단에서 그 검사관이 나와가지고 그 일. They certified through hospital records that indeed. These people who had these diseases and these injuries had gotten them on the job, either through workplace, the pollution in the air, the, the, the conditions, uh, the lack of safety kind of guards. And so these are the records of each individual uh, victim of industrial injury certified by stamp and by the hospital and by an investigation. So, the environment is who controls and who controls. Fender는 OEM 주면은 Fender도 그런 확인하는 원래는 그 산업 안전 관리자라고 있는데 산업 I think that normally there are supposed to be independent uh, labor safety investigators and standards, but instead of doing it independently, the company itself had its own labor safety um, investigators kind of confirm that the workplace was okay. So there was no independent, there was no successful independent investigation. Um, so far in LA, we have found that the contribution of musicians and the contribution of ordinary citizens to tell companies like Fender that they want to see guitars made under fair conditions have actually uh, successfully allowed, um, pressured Fender to meet with us. So we have a meeting with Fender tomorrow at 1 p.m. Because I think for the music industry in particular, which has kind of a like at least an aura of an ethical practice, they want they want people to know that you know they do care about worker rights. And while we are not sure how Fender let it get this far and why this type of exploitation was allowed, into, because Court Guitar is actually 50% of its contracts or, or so, according to the workers, come from Fender. So it's a major business partner, and so. Um, up until this point, uh, the, the, the calls of people like Tom Morello to Fender and the calls of people like Wayne Kramer to Fender have really kind of helped them know that this is not an issue that just workers that directly made the guitars themselves care about. Um, and so actually ordinary citizens have enorm enormous impact in, in terms of something like the music industry. And so people writing on the Facebook pages of Fender, people writing at the guitar forums as fans or as guitar enthusiasts, and people throwing concerts like this or, or simply putting it up on their blogs and spreading the word, I think it's really important because I think a lot of people think, you know, guitar made in Korea, they assume it's fine. But in fact, they really should uh, kind of take the time to figure out whether, was it made under fair conditions? You know, why is this guitar so cheap, essentially? Okay, so Pang Chiwejang, he's going to speak briefly about what else people can do. We are going to go to the reason why we came to Nam is partly to reach ordinary citizens and musicians. And we also have also been to Frankfurt, Germany, and to Yokohama, where there were other music industry fairs. And we have found that, and we believe that when people 
as ordinary citizens, tell Fender and tell Ibanez and tell these other uh, contractors that give uh, OEM to court that they want to see justice for the court and courts and guitar workers, that that will make a big difference. And so we really believe that it is the actions of ordinary citizens that can provide the support that the court with guitar workers have up, up until now not really had. <laughs> 우리 한국에서도 그 상권이 있습니다. 입법, 사법, 행정이 있는데 그 상권에 대해서도 말을 안 듣고 있습니다. Uh, the thing that he really wants to communicate is that in Korea, at all levels of the government and law, such as the Seoul Administrative Courts and such as the uh, the National Labor Relations Board, and it's now at the Supreme Court. This case is at the Supreme Court. But at every level, whenever court guitars, the company was told, you have to rehire the workers. What you did was illegal. They ignored the law. And, I and he says, you know, I find it very ironic that in a democracy, companies with money can ignore the law. And here we are in a place where ordinary citizens in the U.S. have also supported. But again, I mean, this is something I'm adding, but Nam Show did not let us in. You know, they said, unless you're a NAM member, unless you're invited by court guitars yourself, you can't go in. But we feel like this is, you know, this is the place where we should be able, able to express our demands. So, once again, we want people to, to, to let court, to, to let companies like Fender know, do not order from court, do not order from, uh, you know, from court, uh, uh, either if they're Fender or Ibanez or Gibson or whoever until court resolves this issue. <laughs>